When applying Dixie Belle mud, you can use your fingers or a spatula to fill in the holes. You can also use mud to repair any veneer issues. Lay out your Dixie Belle colors according to your color plan. You can use a separate brush for each color to lay out the initial color pattern. You blend your colors together on the second coat. You can use a spray misting bottle to keep your brushes damp. Don't worry, the first coat always looks a crazy hot mess. Just wait and see what we can create. I applied the second coats over top of the initial color pattern. While this is drying, you can use your best dang brush along with the spray misting bottle filled with water to ombre blend your colors together. I wanted to create a very deep and grungy dark look for this dresser. I used my Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in black along with my French tip brush to apply the wax to the corners. Dixie Belle's wax is water based. It's easily wiped back to sit inside the crevices. Dixie Belle's Gemstone Mousse is a highly pigmented metallic color. I use the combination of copper and garnet sprayed with a spray misting bottle filled with water. This allows the paint to kind of drip down and create a very boho grungy effect. It's a gorgeous way to add shimmer and shine to the front of any piece. After repairing the holes on the top with Dixie Belle's mud, I wanted to correct all the surface scratches sitting on the top of the dresser. I used an applicator pad along with my no paint gel stain in espresso. No paint gel stain is great because it wipes on on top of an existing surface. Wipe it on in the direction of the wood grain, smooth it across the top of the dresser and all of those blemishes will be hidden.